Hello, pickup truck and SUV fans. Semester all here, ready for another edition of Mysterious Mondays. I'm trying to figure out what those rednecks are up to. We're on location here in New York City. I'm at the hotel room, uh, trying to get the best video quality I can. Unfortunately, this is the best I got. So, hopefully, you can see me and it's somewhat clear. Maybe. <laughs> um, this this show we do the weekly top five redneck trucks and SUVs or pickup trucks and SUVs that I found this week. These are all online. I've uh, come across them. I have a knack of doing this for some odd reason. And I'd like to share them with you all in one place, one video. So hit subscribe if you like these. I think this is number four or five, something around the range. So the idea is we count up number five, and I'll count them down. Five, four, three, two, one. And I'll show you on the screen, and you can uh, laugh along with me or scratch your head or be mystified by what you're seeing on the screen like I am. All right, so let's go uh, number five. Number five is a personal favorite. I've been hanging out on this one for a little while, and here you go. Yeah, I, I can't decide what I like best on this. Um, uh, obviously, lifted with small tires. That's a big, big winner. We love that look. Looks like he, lift, he missed leg day. Insert your leg day joke there. Uh, the rust on the uh, truck is, is great. And the Suzuki off-road. Um, I don't know, and I'm trying to figure out like, are those are they steel like pieces of of steel like on a, a square like rectangle that are holding up the st shocks? I I don't understand this one. I'm uh, completely mystified uh, by many things, including how the heck you get into it. Um, the guy must be six feet tall, <laughs> over six feet to climb in. Uh, this is definitely redneck. Uh, it is it is fantastic. All right, so here we go. Number four. Number four, here we go. Another zombie apocalypse looking uh, SUV van this time. Um, I do love the cash Uber sign on the back on whatever the trailer is. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's pretty fantastic, you know. I mean, it's it's like you grab the saw and you decide to make a some sort of vehicle out of your Dodge Caravan. And I love the mismatched wheels. He, like, painted Dodge on the side. Uh, it's just got all sorts of goodness going on. Um, I'm not sure why there's a lamp on the top of it. Uh, that's something. But it, hey, it, it's Cash Uber. Whatever that means. Is that like a, is that a seating table too? Do you sit there? <laughs> mystified, mystified. All right, here we go. Number three, number three. So you know you always wanted that semi-truck. You really like the big semi-trucks. Well, here you go. Take your Silverado 1500 and make a semi-truck out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's really cool. I wonder if the arrow is really impacted by that on top of the roof. Um, yeah, a good chrome exhaust, though. And, you know, you got to have the 8-foot bed to fit, fit your snowmobile. That's important as well. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, those functional hood vents, too, for the 5-liter, 5 5.3 liter V8. I mean, that doesn't offer that. Um, good look, I suppose. If that's what you want to do, <laughs> just I don't know. Again, mysterious Mondays, mystified by. It. All right, number one, number two, are a close one and two, very close. Um, they're very similar, and I had a hard time. I basically had to flip a coin about three times, figure out who's number one, who's number two. So here we go. Number two is the Jeep. Now you may have seen this. I did a teaser on Instagram and different places because I was flying to the New York City. Uh, you may have seen this. I'm sorry if you have. This is the limo Jeep Wrangler think thing, I think. I'm not sure. Um, I, really, I really don't understand this at all. Uh, yeah, I will say this. It's nicely done. I mean, look how crisp those lines are and how the paint's done and how it's all blacked out on, on the wheels. And I mean, it's an expensive. It's a lot of money in this Jeep Wrangler. It's really impressive. Um, it's got a really nice bumper on the front, uh, all soft top. It, Okay, you know, a lot of money spent. Not really sure what the plan is. So there you go. So that, that's number two. Number two. Number, number one. Number one. You may have to sit down for this one. It could be mind blowing. Um, it's for sale too. All right, I'm gonna stop teasing it. Here we go. Number one. Okay. So um, a six by six Jeep. That's. The SUV uh, the, the, that you decided to extend it without windows, that you, I guess it's it's welded and you can still see the welds. So we have it's pre-paint, it's pre-paint, um, pretty amazing wheels there. Looks pretty good. Um, 
is it the plan that you want to be able to sleep in the back? Is that the idea? Uh, less than 50,000 mics. Yeah, that's impressive. Uh, 50,000 mics. $350 gone or best offer. So this, 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 is, this is interesting because I think that the wheels themselves are worth 350 bucks. <laughs> just, just, just take it to the scrapyard and take the wheels and sell them separately. Um, I, I'm lost on why you need the whole thing gone for 350 bucks. Um, but I'm also, you know, mildly curious as to why you'd even do this. Uh, you know, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm so confused. So there you go. There's the top five mysterious Monday redneck truck SUV uh, creations, vehicles, trucks, pickups, SUVs, things, whatever the hell they are. I don't know. <laughs> there you go. Those are the top five I saw. Hit subscribe down below to hang out with a bunch of other videos we're doing. And make sure you keep track of all the stuff we're doing on our crazy site. And, uh, you know, find us on the Instagram, pick up on pickup truck and SUV on Instagram, pickuptrucktalk.com is the website. Uh, Facebook and Twitter are about the same. It's all various. It's a pickup truck and, and SUV. And uh, thanks for watching. And we'll see you down the road.